Hello, how to solve this exponential problem and find the value of n that satisfies this equation? We have negative 3 to the power of n and this equals 3. So we are going to make use of two different methods. So let's start with the first method. Now, in this first method, what we are going to do is this is negative 3. We can simply express this negative 3 as negative 1 times 3. So we have it here as negative 1 times 3 raised to the power of n and this equals 3. Now the next thing is for us to consider this identity. If you have square root of negative 1, this equals i, that is iota. Now if you also take the squares of this, then this square root will eliminate the square here, so you have negative 1 equals iota squared. So there is negative 1 here. We are going to replace it with this i squared. So we simply have i power 2 times 3. This is to the power of n, and this equals 3. Now, the next step is for us to introduce log. We take log of i squared times 3, raised to the power of n, and this equals log 3. Now, what we are going to do is to apply this property of logarithm before that. Remember, if you have log a to the power of b, this equals b times log a. So we apply this property right here. That means the n will come behind this. We are going to have n times log i squared times 3, and this equals log 3. Now, the next thing is for us to apply another logarithm property. This is in the form of log a times b. So if you have log a times b, this equals log a plus log b. So we apply this property right here. So you are going to have n times log a, that is, we have log i squared. This is like a. And we have plus, this is like b, we have log 3. And this equals log 3. So the next step is for us to isolate this n. We are going to achieve that by dividing this by log i squared plus log 3. And we also divide this by log i squared plus log 3. So what happens here is this eliminate this and the n will be isolated. So we are going to have n equals log 3 divided by this is log i squared plus log 3. Now, the next step is for us to apply this other identity. Remember, if you have log a power b, this equals b times log a. So we apply this property right here. We are going to have this is n, and this equals log 3 divided by these two here. We'll come behind the log, we have 2 log i plus log 3. So this becomes our final solution using the first method. Now the next thing for us to consider the second method. Now let's consider the method 2. Now in this other method we are going to simply recall the problem. We have negative 3 to the power of n and this equals 3. So this second method is very similar to the first, but a bit different. Now this is negative 3. We can express it using this form. So we have negative 1 times 3 raised to the power of n, and this equals 3. Now the second thing we are going to do is that 
we can make use of this identity. For instance, if you have a times b raised to the power of c, this equals a power c times b power c. We distribute this power to each term right there inside the bracket. So that means you are going to distribute this m here. So we have negative 1 power n times 3 to the power of n and this equals 3. Now the next step is for us to consider this Euler's identity. If you have e to the power of i times pi and this is plus 1, this equals 0. Consider this Euler's identity. From here, you can simply have e power i times pi equals negative 1. That means negative 1 equals e power i times pi. So we are going to replace this negative 1 here. We are going to replace it with this. That means we are going to have, instead of writing this negative 1, we are going to have e power i times pi and there is n here. So this is raised to the power of n times 3 raised to the power of n and this equals 3. So the next step is for us to multiply this exponent. So we have e power i times pi times n times 3 to the power of n equals 3. So the next thing we are going to do is to apply natural log. We have ln of e power i times pi times n. We have times 3 to the power of n equals ln 3. And we apply the same logarithm property. If you have log a times b, this equals log a plus log b. So this property here is applied to natural log. So we are going to have ln, this is our a, this is b. We have ln of e power i times pi times n. And we have plus, we have ln of 3. This is 3 power n and this equals ln of 3. Now. The next thing we are going to do is to apply this other logarithm property. Remember, if you have log a power b, this equals b times log a. So applying the property here and here, the n will come behind this and this will come behind this ln. So we have i pi times n, then times ln of e plus n times ln of 3 equals ln of 3. Now, this ln of e is 1. So you don't forget that. ln of e equals 1. So this simply means we have i times pi times n times 1 plus this is n ln of 3 and this equals ln 3. So if you multiply this by 1, you have i times pi times n plus n times ln of 3, and this equals ln of 3. So the next thing you are going to do is to factor out n. So you have n times i times pi plus ln 3 equals ln 3. So the next step is to isolate n. We divide this by i times pi plus ln 3, we divide this by i times pi plus ln 3. So this eliminates this. And we are going to have n equals ln 3 divided by i times pi plus ln 3. So this is our answer. So we leave it this way using this second method and you can as well compare it to the first method. They are very similar. So that is it. And any method you choose to use is still very okay. That is the end of the video. Thank you and goodbye.